Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 167.8 pounds, with a record of one win, zero losses, fighting from Team Fusion from Springfield, Missouri, Tony Grant! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot 11 inches tall, winging at 164.6 pounds, with a professional record of two wins, two losses, fighting from Rock City MMA from Malvern, Arkansas, the man, Blackie Chan, the Trevor Allison. The man, Blackie Chan. The man, what a nickname. Um, this right here is a fight right off the bat. This is supposed to be at 155. They did a 160 catch weight. Um, he came in like seven pounds overweight, Tony did. Oh, wow. So he had to do 165. Uh, Trevor told me earlier he thinks he thinks that's a sign Tony gave up. He's going to break him in the cage. I I don't I don't necessarily know that. I, he actually missed weight in the last fight he fought uh, for us at walkout. So... I don't, I, maybe he's just not good at cutting weight. That was for the 170, I don't know. Uh, 170 title walkout? Uh, no, he actually uh, fought, made his pro debut gotcha. um, at 155. And right now, the wrestling, uh, you know, uh, Tony's a two-time freestyle and Greco state champion, so he's got extreme elbow, wrestling power. That elbow just missed that. That was going to be nasty if it landed. Um, and we got another guillotine. Uh -oh. oh, and oh. Trevor with the slam. Wow. Uh, Tony Grant is one of the most athletic guys I've seen. Um, oh, we got Trevor right now ripping uh, for that arm. That's, that's oh, he oh, lost it though. Like I said, Grant is one oh, of the most yeah. athletic guys I've seen in the cage. Uh, Olsen's also fought uh, for both promotions. Oh, those are back of the head. And uh, Olsen is a scrappy, scrappy oh, my, guy. Yeah. So this is gonna be, uh, boy, they're gonna get tired. <laughs> oh man, Nasty there's some blood. blood going right now. There's some blood. Where's it coming from? That's a lot of blood I really fast. I cannot see. Oh, it looks like it's coming out of Trevor. Uh, oh, Grant's throwing those elbows every chance he gets. Grant on the bottom in the blue gloves. And that's going to make some slick conditions in that cage. Yeah, it will. It, make, it makes submissions way harder to come by. Oh, there's another elbow from the bottom. That's, Dude, how, he, that's how Grant won his last fight. He hit Ross Campbell with a couple of elbows uh, while Campbell was trying to take him down. And um, that was all she wrote. But, man, Allison has is, is got he's some nasty. moves, oh, man. Yes. His scrambling is great. His scrambling is second to none. He's got that hook in right now. Grant's going to do something crazy here. Well, I've seen him one time, uh, speaking of his athleticism, to get out of a guillotine, I saw him wall walk up the back of the cage and do a flip. Yeah. Oh, oh that's deep. It's deep. It's that's deep. deep. That's, that's deep. Night, night. That's deep. It's going to be hard for him to get out. He's fighting the hand right. He's doing what he needs to do. Oh, and that's, that's the tap. For the rear naked choke by the man, Blackie Chan. <coughs> so, wow. Both both uh, uh, competitors that have got cut and open tonight and it looked like they were in trouble have come back and won with a submission victory. I was just about to say that until I got choked up a little <laughs> bit from excitement. But exactly. You know, both guys get cut and then come up with the submission. And that was awesome scrambling right there from, uh, uh, from Blackie Chan. That shows some depth of character uh, once again. Not getting phased by uh, your misfortune. That's happened so far in the fight. You stay in it. You continue to uh, push. And you know, victory happens whenever you keep yourself available and, and you make the right moves. So. That's what the fight game's all about to yes, me, it is. is overcoming adversity, just like people in life have to do. Exactly. You know, not giving up. You own your back, you get up. And that's exactly what Blackie Chan did. He was eating some terrible elbows that obviously cut him up. Oh, yeah. But like you said, he was over to, able to overcome that and secure the rear neck and choke victory. And, and I'm a little surprised by that. I, I thought maybe he would have uh, more success possibly on the feet. He's a little bit longer fighter. Um, I've seen him fight before, and he likes to throw hands. Yeah, uh, he tonight he got it done really well. Yeah, tonight he got it done with the uh, scrambles, the uh, I mean, creating opportunities where there kind of was none, and then uh, right here scrambling out, um, you know, in a bad spot, gets the just laces the leg, picks him up, drops him, and that's that's an incredible uh, rip for that armbar. It was close. That armbar was good. Uh, Tony Grant did a nice scramble to get out. A lot of good scrambles in a short amount of time, and then uh, yeah, Allison taking the back and just and just finishing that fight. And I like to see a guy that uh, you know he's two and two. 
and uh, the two losses he had, he was dominating in the first round of those fights. And he kind of, whether it was a mental block or maybe gassed out a little bit, you know, he kind of came out in the second round of those fights and didn't do so well. So it's really good to see a guy, you know, bounce back and get a good win like that exactly. against an extremely tough, talented opponent, Tony Grant. It's kind of neat watching uh, two, two competitors that have fought in, in both the walkout and the pyramid cage. And you can see their growth it's, it's and advancement. Funny so. how this card, you know, the first card that you started sitting and commentating with me, that we've had a little bit of a, a yeah. workout like that where, you know, you've known some of the other guys, they fought for you, then they fought for us. So it's, it's awesome. This is a, it's a match made in heaven, I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that January show that's going to happen in John Q. Hammonds in, in Rogers, Arkansas. Um, as soon as tickets go out, you're going to want to get the good ones because they're going to go fast because. Uh, the best of the best in, in the kind of the four state region of, of, of Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas. I think they're going to stay up in the cage that night, and it's going to be, you know, this time's a thousand just with the, uh, the competitiveness. Be, it, I think it'll end up being the biggest MMA event the Arkansas scene. I, I think I think the Midwest is seen. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. You even go bigger than me. I there like that. Not to one up you. Not to one up you. Please do. One up me all the time. Man. Blackie Chan, Trevor Allison. <laughs>